Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Happy game day weekend. For those of you who don't know, my husband is headed to the NFC Championship this week. And this is the last round of the NFL playoffs, which determines if we go to the Super Bowl or not. So I am very, very excited for this weekend. I am feeling very, very proud of him and very grateful for what God has done in our lives because... I just think it's so amazing to experience this level of the game this early on in his career. So I'm super excited to go to San Francisco today and support him. My flight takes off at 3.55 and it's currently 9.17. I still have to pack. I kind of have everything laid out, but I need to take care of some house stuff. So I need to do the dishes, sweep. I'm not mopping. Um, sweep, <laughs> do the dishes. And just get ready to head to San Francisco. You know, like, when you travel and you don't want to come back to a dirty house, that's basically what I'm going to be taking care of. The house isn't dirty, but it just needs a little, little pick-me-up. So we're going to do that, and we're going to stop by Alta because I need some mousse for my hair before this trip. But I'm excited because I've never been to San Francisco, so I'm excited to see somewhere new. But I'm also excited to just go support him um, and show y'all the behind the scenes of what goes into game day. I'm going to show y'all my game day outfit. I had the cutest custom piece made. I'm going to show you guys because it is literally gorgeous. I had to bring three different pairs of jeans because I don't really know how I'm going to style it yet. But you see the lions in there. That's the shirt I'm wearing. And then this is like a little puffer. But look at the details. Like, oh, where is it? It's on this side. Everything is just perfect. She did such an amazing job. I'm going to put her at right here for any of your custom needs. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to show y'all how I end up styling that as well as all the behind the scenes of game day. So... Let's get ready for a full day of travel. I am flying out of Detroit. <clears throat> I land in Dallas at like 6.50ish. And then I have to go from Dallas to San Fran. So I have a little layover. So it's going to be a pretty busy day. But I'm excited to have y'all along with me. And I'm excited to see Tuan. We're going to meet up with him later. Probably do dinner if I have enough time. He has curfew at 10.30 and I land at 8.55 so hopefully hopefully we can get a little dinner in there or at least a little hug but um stay tuned because this weekend is going to be a really good one and we're praying for a win so we can go to the super bowl see y'all in a few hey google myself ready to go so i'm gonna take a quick shower do my hair and continue to pack as you can see i have things laid out everywhere i like separating my stuff into categories so like that's the stuff that's gonna go in my purse this is gonna be my hair stuff um this is accessories this is beauty like makeup skincare and then this is all of my like shower necessities I always bring Pepto because my stomach is literally the most sensitive. And I'm going to use this today. I got it for Christmas and I haven't used it yet. So I am so excited. Um, I have all of the electronics laid out there. And then, Bear, you want to come? I'm getting like all of that together. I have a couple more loads of laundry to do. But I feel like that is the easiest way for me to get my life together, keep it together, is by separating everything in categories. So that way I know I'm not missing anything. But I'm going to take a shower and then we're going to get ready to go. Okay, just got out the shower. I did my hair and my skincare. I feel really put together now. I feel like when I was filming this in the beginning, I was like, girl, get, get your life together. But now I feel put together, complete. Um, I have to leave the house in 30 minutes. I just door dashed myself some food because I definitely don't have time to cook. Um, but yeah, this is the chaos we're dealing with currently. Still in the process of packing, but we're almost there. 
Just got dressed. This is the travel fit, real simple vibes. I'm gonna match them with the ones. I'm filming for TikTok and YouTube, so it's just like a hot mess right now. But you get you you get to just everything's organized. This is everything that's gonna go in my purse. These are all of the clothing items plus the puffer. Guys, look at this custom puffer. It's so cute. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. I need to hurry up because I need to get out of here. I need to get out of here on time. I have like 15 minutes before I need to be out the door. All right, here is the travel fits. Everything is from Aritzia. We're getting ready to head out. I was supposed to leave at 12.30. We don't have time to stop at Ulta, so we just gotta get straight on the road. Made it to the airport. I parked the car. Tuan, you're gonna be so proud of me because I have an hour and a half to spare, and usually I run to my gate, but here, I'm on time. We're about to go through TSA, and I'm gonna get some food because I'm ashamed to say I haven't even ate today because I've just been so focused on getting ready. I tried to place two DoorDash orders, and DoorDash did not come through, so. Let's go, let's go through TSA. Now we're all ready to go. I'm about to drop my bag. And I need some food. Made it through TSA. Now we need to go find some food. I and mean, our fight takes off in an hour. So we have a little bit of time. We made it to our gates. I'm getting so nervous yet so excited because I really want us to make it to the Super Bowl. But at the same time, what I always say is let God's will be done. So we're praying for a safe flight, about to go catch this flight. We're going from Detroit to Dallas, Dallas to San Francisco. So I will keep y'all updated. I am just sitting here patiently waiting for the line to go down because I never hop in the line like when everybody's standing up. I'll wait. in Dallas the lighting over here sucks I literally look like a glazed egg but I'm still nervous filming in public so I'm like hiding behind my purse right now I'm so excited to see Tuan and hug him I really don't like long travel days they just like are so draining for no reason <laughs> made it to flight number two we are officially almost to San Francisco Guys, we landed in San Francisco and I'm so sad because I don't think we're gonna have time to make it to Tuan before his 10 p.m. curfew. And I've had such a long day and I really just need a hug from him. So that sucks, but it's okay. I'm here, we're gonna eat breakfast in the morning. I'm just ready to be at the hotel, honestly. I made it in time and I'm so happy about it. I was telling him I was scared I wasn't gonna make it in time to see him so we got like 15 minutes together, right? Mm -hmm. well, like 10. <laughs> Made it to the hotel. I'm so tired. I can't even see straight. But here's the little setup. I just have my stuff set out real nice and neat. I'm about to take a shower. And then this is the bed. And then look at what came. This is the custom piece I have made. It's a puffer. I love all of the details she included. And then if you look on the back, it has Tuan's last name. Let me let me not do that. Because last time I said Tuan's last name, y'all ate me up in my comments. Oh, that's Tuan in the background. But y'all ate me up. Like, I get it. It's both of our last names. But I still say his last name because that's where it originated from. But anyways... Um, Tuan's last name, our last name, and then all of the pockets on the side, and you can actually put stuff in here. I mean, obviously I wouldn't. Actually, no, not on these ones. You can't put nothing. No, yeah, you can in these ones. But I just, I love all of the details. So here it goes on. I feel like it's cute, but I'm just nervous because I feel like it's so big. But I don't know. Maybe I'm just like overthinking. And I tried the full fit on together and I didn't love it. I wanted to do denim on denim, but I don't know. I think I'm a little bit too in my head. So I'm just going to wait to see what Tuan thinks tomorrow. 
He'll be up here tomorrow morning. Um, yeah, we'll get his opinion in the morning. But yeah, I like it. I like it. I love it. Like, she did amazing. But like I said, I'm just, like, concerned about the bagginess. Like, is it too baggy? Or can I pull it off? I don't know. Stay tuned. Good morning. It's the next day. Look at the view. It's so pretty. I love Cali Mountains. But anyways, I have Twan here. I know I told y'all last night I was going to try it on for him and see what he thinks because I need his approval. What do you think? That's not hard. You think so? Yeah. You don't think it looks too big? Nope, that's the perfect size. You promise? Duh. That's the hardest piece of gear you got. You sure? Mm-hmm. Okay, now I feel better. That Last night I was feeling really, like, upset. I don't know why. I and I was like, it. I feel ugly. Nah, you don't. Okay. But anyways, Swan brought bus pass, sideline pass, right? This was the sideline pass? Yeah. So, I'm so excited because this will actually be my first time going on the sideline this year. Look at this. I'm so proud of him. This is going to be a good day. We're praying for a win, but at the end of the day, let God's will be done. Before every game, Tuan watches Creed. Not every game. I mean, before a lot of games. When I get bored, I watch Creed. It's not a bad thing. I think it's cute. We love Creed. It's my favorite movie. And then, so this morning, I actually... I'm so sad because I forgot Tuan's stuff to make his letter and of course it's one of the biggest games of the year and I freaking forgot the bag that has all this stuff in it. So this morning I had typed up a letter for him. So this is what I do like if I ever miss an in-person letter like a physical letter I always do um, a virtual one. So the virtual ones just consist of the same thing. I do a letter, I include like inspirational pictures, um, I always do like a word of the day and then his letter and then at the end same thing I just include a ton of pictures and then I also include where is it oh my goodness I also include inspirational like YouTube videos and stuff just to get him going for the day I told y'all all I need is Swan's approval sometimes when I get his approval I just feel like a bag of money so now I feel really nice and put together I even put on Prada shades these earrings from Revolve I'll make sure I link everything um, for you guys and then I also have this cute little bag it has his last name on it and his number I'm gonna try to show y'all the full the full fit so this is what we're working with Obviously, I'm not wearing the slippers. I'm going to wear my off-whites. Um, but yeah, I can't wait, excuse me, who, to head over. Got my little game pass because I like to forget stuff, so I just attach it to my jeans. I might put it on my purse, though, because it's low-key clashing with the fit. But we're getting ready to head out. I'm actually going to the stadium with one of the girls, Imani. She is so sweet, and I'm so excited. Um, we're going to head off to the field together and all that good stuff, so I'm excited that I'm not alone. But yeah, it should be a fun day. I am headed to Imani. She just got here and I'm so excited but so nervous. Happy game day though. Let's go. Oh, it's so chaotic in here. There's so much going on, but we're trying to make it to our date so we can see them on the field. People everywhere. But there's also a lot of lines. This sun is beaming so much so I'm ready to take this puffer off. But I'm going to keep it on because once we get on this field, we're going to need some cute pictures. I brought the Fuji with me. So hopefully we get some good pictures. But Let's go Lions!
Good morning. Well, it's really the middle of the night. It's freaking 3.42 a.m. And we are getting ready to head off to the airport. This is the airport fit. We're wearing all black. Pair it with the ones again. <sighs> Bro, I'm so tired. So tired. I went to sleep at like 12 so i got or not even 12 i'm lying i want to sleep at like 1 15 so i freaking got two hours of sleep if that's not even now we gotta get ready to plan for off season an off season move yay us oh. uber is six minutes away so we gotta get ready to head out Made it to Chicago, got a two hour and 26 minute layover. I keep switching off from the phone to the camera, which is why the quality is like good, bad, good, bad. <laughs> but oh my gosh, I'm so ready to get home. <sighs> I just want to hug Twan and my fur babies and just make it home. Shout out to Clear, that's how I be skipping them TSA lines. You know what's crazy? American Airlines just let us board our flight and then had us get off of our flight well first of all they delayed our departure then they let us get on the flight they told us there was maintenance issues to let us get on the flight and then they just kicked us off and now they're like oh you have to go to a new gate delta would never it is 7:46. And I just landed in Detroit. Mind you, I started my travel day at 3 a.m. I'm beat. And the sad part is when I get home, my man's not even gonna be there. He has a rookie dinner tonight. So he's with his teammates at their little fa farewell dinner. So after this long and horrendous day, I'm not even gonna be able to hug my man as soon as I get home. And I wanna cry, but it's okay. I now have a 40 minute drive from the airport to our house. 